Hello and welcome to our episode on the topic of high pressure sodium versus metal halide ballast. In this video, we'll discuss the differences between these two types of ballasts and their applications in various lighting systems. We will explore the pros and cons of each ballast type and provide you with the information you need to make an informed decision when choosing the right ballast for your lighting needs. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we delve into the differences between these two ballast types, let's first understand what a ballast is. A ballast is an electrical component that regulates the current in an electrical circuit. It is an essential component of many lighting systems, including high-pressure sodium and metal halide lamps. High-pressure sodium ballasts are used in lighting systems that require high-intensity lighting such as street lights, parking lot lighting, and warehouse lighting. HPS lamps produce a yellow-orange light that is ideal for outdoor and industrial applications. They are also known for their energy efficiency, making them a popular choice for large-scale lighting projects. HPS lamps require less energy to produce the same amount of light as other types of lamps, which can result in significant cost savings over time. These lamps have a longer lifespan than other types of lamps. Ideal for outdoor and industrial applications, providing excellent visibility and safety. These lamps produce a spectrum of light that is beneficial for plant growth, making them a popular choice for horticultural lighting. MH lamps have a shorter lifespan than HPS lamps, which can result in higher maintenance costs over time. It requires more energy to operate than HPS lamps, which can result in higher energy costs. Metal halide ballasts are used in lighting systems that require high-quality lighting such as ports fields, stadiums, and parking garages. Image lamps produce a bright white light that closely mimics natural daylight. They are known for their high CRI, making them an ideal choice for applications that require accurate color rendering. Image lamps have a high color rendering index, which means they accurately render colors. These lamps produce a bright white light that closely mimics natural daylight which can improve visibility and create a more pleasant environment. They are a popular choice for sports lightings where accurate color rendering and high-quality lighting are important. HPS lamps have a low CRI, which means they do not accurately render colors and require a warm-up time to reach full brightness. The yellow-orange light produced by HPS lamps can distort colors and make them appear different from their true hue. Now that we understand the pros and cons of each ballast type, let's compare the two. Energy Efficiency When it comes to energy efficiency, HPS ballasts are the clear winner. They use less energy than image ballasts and have a longer lifespan. Light Quality If you are looking for a high-quality lighting with accurate color rendering, then metal halide ballasts are the way to go. Their bright white light closely mimics natural daylight, making them ideal for sports fields, stadiums, and parking garages. Cost when it comes to cost, HPS ballasts are the more economical option. They are energy efficient and have a longer lifespan, which makes them a popular choice for larger scale lighting projects. Overall, both high pressure sodium and metal halide ballasts have their pros and cons, and the right ballast for your lighting needs will depend on your specific requirements. If you are looking for energy efficiency and long lasting lighting for outdoor and industrial applications, then HPS ballasts are the way to go. However, if you are looking for high-quality lighting with accurate color rendering for sports fields, stadiums, and parking garages, then metal halide ballasts are the better option. We hope this video has provided you with the information you need to make an informed decision when choosing the right ballast for your lighting needs. Thank you for watching.